Preliminary indications are that the fairing on the Taurus XL launch vehicle failed to separate. The fairing is a clamshell structure that encapsulates the satellite as it travels through the atmosphere. A mishap investigation board will be immediately convened to determine the cause of the launch failure. For more information, log on to www.nasa.gov. Preliminary indications are that the fairing on the Taurus XL launch vehicle failed to separate. The fairing is a clamshell structure that encapsulates the satellite as it travels through the atmosphere. Seven seconds after stage two ignition, we expected to see fairing separation. Uh, we've got, we had indications that the sequence was uh, sent, uh, but shortly after that, we started getting indications that the fairing uh, did not indeed separate. Our goal will be to find a root cause for the problem, and uh, we, won't fly, we won't fly a glory until we, we have that data known to us. The one thing that's constant is a, is a huge disappointment to the entire team that's worked very hard over years and years and, and uh, really did their best to, to see it through. And, and the reason not everyone is able to do this is it, it's, it's hard. And, and even when you do the best you can, you can still fail. So it's a tough business. The vehicle um, did not have enough uh, delta V to reach orbit and landed uh, just short of Antarctica in the ocean. Take a good, solid, and thoughtful look at how best to advance Earth system science uh, in general, and with a focus on the carbon cycle uh, as well. Uh, given all the assets that we have available uh, in now and into the near future, and decide how it is best scientifically uh, as well as for the nation to move forward. NASA's video file is broadcast daily here on NASA television.